The API of Ethereum is complicated. To interact with the smart contract, you have to use a couple of hexadecimal parameters and it's very confusing. In this video, I will give you a quick intro to Web3.js, a library that makes it super easy to use the Ethereum API and interact with smart contracts. Beside Ethereum, Web3 can also be used with all blockchains based on the Ethereum technology like Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Edoblox, I teach blockchain development. Web3.js is a library written in Node.js. You can use it server-side or in a web browser. When you search for tutorials, make sure it's for Web3 1.0 or above because the syntax for the older versions is outdated. To use Web3.js, you need to have a recent version of Node.js. You start by installing Web3 in your project. In your script, you import Web3.js. Web3.js needs to be connected to an Ethereum node. Running an Ethereum node is complex. By using a free account on Infra, you will get an URL to connect to an Ethereum node. You can use this URL to instantiate Web3. With this Web3 object, you can interact with the Ethereum network. Next, you will need to add your private key to be able to send transactions. To get the ether balance of an address, you can use the get balance method. To interact with a smart contract, you have to first instantiate a contract object. You have to pass two arguments, the ABI and the address of the contract. The ABI is a JSON document that describes the interface of the smart contract. Once you have this contract object, you can read value from the smart contract by specifying the function that you call, the argument and the call method. To send a transaction, you can use the send transaction function on web3.eth. This is used for simple ether transfers. Or you can use the send transaction function on a contract object. This is used to execute smart contract functions. There are many other cool stuff you can do with Web3 like listening to events or formatting ether values. Now you know the basics of Web3.js. I show you how to use Web3.js server side. If you want to use Web3 in the browser, it's slightly more complex. And for this, you can watch this other tutorial where I show you how to use Web3 in the browser, including the integration with MetaMask. I will see you there. 